In this video, we will look at three examples of determining three traces from a given surface. We're asked to consider the surface graphed here, and then we're asked which of the following shows traces for x equals negative one, x equals zero, and x equals two. Notice for all the traces, the horizontal axis is the y-axis, the vertical axis is the z-axis. In order to determine these traces, we need to visualize cutting the surface with the planes x equals negative one, x equals zero, and x equals two. To help visualize this, I've shown the x equals negative one plane in orange, the x equals zero plane in purple, and the x equals two plane in green. In your homework, you can rotate the surface any way that you want to help visualize the intersection of these planes and the surface, which will be the three traces. For illustration purposes though, I'll be using three-dimensional software. In this graph, the surface is graphed in green and the plane x equals negative one is graphed in blue. Again, the intersection of the surface and the plane will be the x equals negative one trace, which we can see from this angle is a parabola with the vertex at the origin that opens downward, which is also graphed here on the right. This is the x equals negative one trace. And now let's graph the plane x equals zero, which is here. Notice the intersection of the plane and the surface is a horizontal line, which does not show on the graph on the right, because it's right on the horizontal axis, which in this case is the y-axis, because this is the yz plane. And now let's look at the x equals two trace. Here's the plane x equals two. Notice how the intersection of the plane and the surface is a parabola that opens up with the vertex at the origin, which is graphed here on the right. This is the x equals two trace. So we had a parabola that opened down, we had a horizontal line, and a parabola that opened up for the three traces. So going back to our work, we now know this graph shows the three traces. This graph here. Let's look at the next example. Once again, we're asked to identify the x equals negative one, x equals zero, and x equals two trace. The plane x equals negative one is graphed in orange. The plane x equals zero is graphed in purple. And the plane x equals two is graphed in green. Let's go back to our software. The surface is graphed in green, and the plane x equals negative one is graphed in blue. The intersection of the plane and the surface is a line. Looking at the graph on the right, we can see the line has a vertical intercept of one and a slope of one in the yz plane. This is the x equals negative one trace. And now let's look at the plane x equals zero, which is here. Once again, the intersection of the plane and the surface is a line but now the line has a vertical intercept of zero, and notice how the slope is still one. This is the x equals zero trace. And now let's graph the plane x equals two, which is here. Once again, the intersection is a line. Looking on the right, notice how the line has a vertical intercept of four, but still has a slope of one. So all three traces were lines with a slope of one with different vertical intercepts, and therefore the traces are parallel lines. Which means this is the graph of the three traces. And for our last example, and for our last example, we have a similar surface, but it's oriented in a different direction. And again, the orange plane is x equals negative one, the purple plane is x equals zero, and the green plane is x equals two. Going back to our sophomore one more time, once again, the surface is graphed in green. This blue plane is the plane x equals negative one. Notice how the intersection of the plane and the surface is a parabola that opens upward. Looking at the graph on the right, notice how it's also been shifted down one unit from the origin. And now it's graph x equals zero, which is this plane. Notice how the intersection of the plane and the surface is still a parabola, but now the vertex is right at the origin. And now for the x equals two trace, we graph the plane x equals two. And once again, we can see the intersection of the plane and the surface is a parabola that opens up, but now it's been shifted up two units. All three traces were parabolas, two of which had vertical shifts. Going back to our work, this first graph shows the three traces. I hope you found this helpful.